The prompt is, describe a topic, idea, or concept you find so engaging that it makes you lose track of time. Here goes, B, D, and F. These are the letters that when played together are said to be responsible for the arrests, excommunications, and beheadings of musicians who dared to play them. The music chord so taboo that it was allegedly banned in the medieval ages by the Catholic Church, believing it was the diabolus in musica, or the devil in music. What about this so-called devil's triad was so demonic? In layperson's terms, the tritone is a combination of tones and frequencies that is difficult for human ears to reconcile. Like nails on a chalkboard, it creates an uneasiness and tension in the gut and chat. The mystery behind this phenomenon kept me awake at night, and I refused to succumb to sleep until I got a grasp of the devil in music. Tucked underneath the bed sheets with my laptop illuminating the black room, I binged NPR podcasts, YouTube videos, and music theory articles until my eyes teared from the prolonged blue light exposure. Hearing the tritone from a computer speaker was underwhelming, though. I craved to witness the devil's triad firsthand on a grand piano. Perhaps I was so enthralled because of my naive imagination that Satan would summon from the piano keys and skewer me over a blazing flame like a kebab. But it was past 2 a.m. and I couldn't wake up my family. I had to try it the following morning. My plans were soon foiled. I woke up with congestion and a throbbing headache, fearing for our grandparents who were visiting from abroad. My my father slid a COVID test under the door. I nervously paced around my room, awaiting the results. Spotting the second red line on the antigen test, I accepted that I would have to quarantine in my room for the coming days. I now couldn't experiment with the cord on the piano inconveniently located in my grandparents' room. Despite this setback, I continued exploring within the limits of my room. I contacted my piano teacher, Miss Jennifer, who always provides insight into my inquiries. I learned that the physics of the chord gets rather technical. The frequency ratio of the tritone, 45 to 32, is complex and imbalanced, creating a clash of two pitches. My curiosity is unquenched and I periodically experiment with the chord during practice. The dissonance does the opposite of what music was, was originally intended to do, mimic the perfect symmetry of the heavens. However, I began to notice that composers actually embrace this dissonance in my pieces. They cleverly precede a concluding chord with a tritone. The instability and tension distresses the listener and instills a desire for a pleasant resolution, thus accentuating the harmony and grandeur of the final